So your underlying energy here is the Eight of Pentacles. So there is a bit of work that needs that's being done right now. A lot of work, okay? And I get this feeling that the Eight of Pentacles talks about really focusing and honing, um, pretty much, you know, honing on one's individual self. And I say that too because of the magician underneath. So it's I had a feeling of it, but then it kind of came out. So I was like, wow, okay, well, whatever. I was pretty much on point. So it's about manifesting and working very diligently uh, uh, regarding manifestation, okay? And this is also having the confidence to manifest what it is that you want. Manifesting your hopes and dreams, etc. So it's not, I, I really like this, I really like that combo because those two do focus on manifesting. The Eight of Pentacles is a bit of slower energy, but it's focusing in really looking at the situation at hand. Now the current situation that you have for your love life, Virgo, is the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups is talking about something that was lost, something that was gone, something that's spilt, right? Something that's missing, you know, in your love life. Um, something potentially very precious to you that you may have lost recently. Um, the beautiful thing here, though, is to remember with this card is that there is still a connection there. There's still something that is left to work with. So right now, I feel like, considering that the Eight of Pentacles is about focusing on work, I feel like the the situation right now is like giving respect, obviously, to what's lost. But the focus soon should be switched to the Two of Cups, you know. Um, so, you know, that way you can go ahead and get on with this Eight of Pentacles energy with the Magician there. Um, so I think currently you guys are you're going through some sort of loss right now, mourning or, 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 you know, recognizing what you guys have been through, what you guys have been feeling, um, the, the loss of, you know what I mean? Giving the honor to it because we just had an eclipse, right? So, I mean, you guys may have released something that was very precious to you at that time, but I feel like it can be bigger and better than ever. Okay. Very soon of whenever, you know. Whenever the whenever you guys decide to shift your focus, or whenever the shifting of whoever you're dealing with, who's ever this energy, who whenever the shift begins, but the um the goal in the relationship is the two of pentacles. So this is about picking and choosing, or uh, um picking and choosing what it is that you want, what it is that has a value to you, or value in the relationship. It's really kind of you know, I feel like. This is the decision making of it, right? Looking at what's of value to you, figuring out, weighing the pros and cons, you know, weighing the value of each option. I don't think this is juggling two people, but I do feel like this is potentially trying to figure out one, uh, pick an option that's of value to to the relationship, or to you know your future and in, in your romantic life. Okay, um, it's very interesting. Um, the thing that's kind of keeping you from being able though to um to look at or to maybe blocking you from making the decision right now or being solid on a decision regarding these cups is because well i mean think about it you the two of pentacles is focusing very much on the practical right this person is looking at the pentacles that's struggling and the waves of his emotions are going kind of insane it's unaddressed it's un it's unlooked at and the only way for him to truly figure out what tr what he truly wants he has to look at what he feels about each option and that's where the blockage comes in the nine of cups and that comes is all about your emotions your wish what you feel from what you want right what is it that you want i don't know there's a lot of looking at what it is that you want. I feel like you want. I, I, I don't know what you. I, I don't know if it's necessarily want per se, but I feel like with the Nine of Cups, maybe you don't know what you want, or don't you don't know how you feel, or the relationship itself. Like there isn't really an idea of what what is desired from the connection right now, and it could, it could be because somebody may have taken a step back, and or maybe was it, or perhaps Virgo, even you may have been feeling emotionally done with the connection or, or done with the situation. Not that you want to break up or anything like that, but there was just something that was dissatisfying in the relationship between both parties. It could be that you're dealing with somebody that had, was feeling dissatisfied in the relationship and you don't kind of know how to move forward from that or, or something, right? But there's something in regards to this relationship that's coming up here that's showing the satisfaction in the past and somebody, you know, take, you know, going about their own direction to find their cup, find that ninth cup, that find whatever makes them feel happy. Okay, so there's not, somebody doesn't know what they want. Somebody's not really certain about how they feel about the connection or especially where they want to take it. 
Um, that's where the hard work comes in. I think that's where the focus it comes in as well, is because it's looking at closely and deeply into one's emotions. Now, your advice, you have the Four of Wands, and this is talking about being in the moment in a way, because the Four of Wands talks about, you know, you know, stability, support, and security. Okay, it talks well, not necessarily stability, support, and security. Am I bad? This is not this is not Ten of Pentacles. This is the the four of wands this is about stability and reaching a higher place of commitment but this is celebration right and appreciating that for where you are and i feel like i don't and i'm not saying that you guys are being ungrateful or anything like that that's not what i'm saying when i say this but i do get this feeling that perhaps what they're trying to say is it's like if you focus in the moment and just enjoy what you have in the moment i feel like what you want will come up i feel like what you're looking for or what this relationship what what's desired from this relationship will become more clear as far as the dream as far as the wish as far as the direction because right now i feel like you you, you know the relationship is potentially in a pretty stable place um, of course, not a place where you guys want to stay, because this, this, this is not the end game. Of course, the Four of Wands is not the end game, but I feel like it's actually in a place where it's not actually too bad. So, right now, focusing on the moment, working day to day, I think it'll bring up some ideas, show some things that you may actually enjoy in the connection and may want to manifest. So, I uh, potentially feel like that's what's going on. Perhaps being in the moment is where it's all meant to be. I'm going to pull a clarifier for the Four of Wands for you guys. Uh, just to kind of see what else this Four of Wands could be saying. Ah, see the the three of cups, yeah, and this is talking about celebration. This is a re, this is a union of 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 people, cups. This is people that that are in your close circles or close quarters. So I feel like this is kind of like talking about celebrating and enjoying what you have right now, having a party, throwing a party, enjoy the connection that you have right now. Because I feel like if you enjoy the connection now, you'll know what you want later. It's weird, right? Because you're like, if you don't think about the future, or don't think about making a decision about where you want to take it, don't have that stress on your back, then I think the manifestation of what you may want later on can, well, what you exactly want will come about. Okay? Or the thing is, too, the, for the, regarding the situation, perhaps the goal is that there is like some, trying to figure out what you, how to kind of go about beginning to utilize these pentacles. Maybe there's a juggling. Maybe there's a desire to not juggle anymore, kind of having to, you know, keep the bounce. Maybe it's because there hasn't been really a lot of action on doing what it is that this relationship is desired to do or wherever the direction is desired for this relationship to take. Um, so there is a focus that's like, Focusing on itself, focus on um, on the the situation itself, focusing on the relationship um, that can potentially help build work, you know, build the stability that you and your real partner could be looking for, or or you know, building in a direction where the person that either you're seeing or dating or either being ready to d date, being comfortable with where you are and being good with where you are and celebrating where you are, which is a very stable space, is how you're going to manifest ahead. But I feel like it's recognizing what what you can be content about in this moment. Because internally, guys, how you guys are feeling, you guys are feeling pretty darn serious and a little bit detached with this Queen of Swords. So it's not really looking at this thing with, with your heart. It's looking at it with your mind. Because the Queen of uh, Swords is very logical. She's very logical and she's very detached when it comes, to, especially when it comes to making decisions and looking at situations. She's very analytical. So... Uh, the situation, how you guys are feeling, is very detached from the situation. It's looking at it very clinically. So, perhaps the situation um, would, uh, the situation is having a hard time manifesting and building itself, especially because what's being looked at potentially is not really, you know, there's not a lot of feeling happening. Like this, because the Queen of Swords, she doesn't feel. She's not, she's not emotionally. And she's not emotionally ruled. She protects her emotions with the truth of her boundaries. She knows what she wants. She knows what, she, what it is. So potentially, you guys know what you guys want. It's just about regarding. It's just about really pretty much manifesting that. It's a bit of an, a bit of a hard time for a lot of, for either you or the person that you're in in your relationship with. Perhaps I have no idea. I think most importantly, I feel like it's honestly that. Um, 
you just maybe there's no idea what you guys want or maybe there's no idea what the relationship what you want out of the relationship or what your partner wants out of the relationship and it's just focusing on being together that's the purpose but the relation but oh, excuse me how you feel is the queen of swords so it's not looking at the situation with un, with with you know with your emotions is looking at it with your mind so it may be a little bit harder to figure out what it is that you want out of a connection um and your hopes and fears are showing the seven of swords okay the seven of swords um and that's kind of like taking it i don't think it's a fear of taking a risk um because i feel like you kind of don't care if i mean if the change is happening it's happening it is what it is you're willing to do it I mean, the Queen of Swords is fearless, so I don't think you're afraid of the change whatsoever. But I do get this feeling that maybe you don't want to avoid something, or maybe you don't want to, you don't want to miss something, perhaps. Um, but I feel like most importantly, this is just like talking about the change, right? You willing to do what you need to do to get to get things done. If it puts you in a very uncomfortable spot, whatever, as long as it's where you want to be. Because you don't want to mess around. I guess you don't want to be in an energy where you've not, you're not growing, you're not doing anything, and it's just constantly just, you know, looking at what's missing. We're looking at what's no longer there, and I feel like you want to change, you know, change the situation or change the relationship to what you want it to be, right? To focusing on what you have left. Because I feel like honestly, Virgos, you have been shift shifting your focus. You've been shifting your focus, and this is the process of doing that. The Eight of Pentacles. I feel like. You're, somebody either is looking, focusing on what's missing. The relationship itself is like, it's a very big highlight of what's missing. But I think you're trying to shift your focus, but it's kind of hard when there isn't really much of a dream in this relationship. So, the yeah, outcome, you have the Nine of Pentacles, which is awesome. Um, Nine of Pentacles and Nine of, of Cups in this reading can be, is very powerful. Because that can, that's not that's not just talking about confidence. It's not talking about being able to manifest abundance in your life, but it's also talking about um, feeling very grounded within yourself and knowing your ability to manifest the dreams that you have and the security that you're looking for, and being very com comfortable with where you are. Right, building a safe space or a solid ground for yourself in your relationships. Um, cause you know what you want and you know what you went for and you know that you have everything it takes and everything you, ha you need to build and to make whatever you want to make. So totally amazing. So in your love life though, I feel like honestly, it's just that it's the only thing that's missing is this nine of cups. What is your wish? What is your dream? What do you want to take this relationship? Where does this relationship want to go? And it's, of course, it's not accusational or anything like that, but you have this eight of cups here. So this talking about, you know, stepping away, taking a look at it, you know, taking a look at your own heart. And I feel like with that two of pentacles there, I feel like you want to be able to be, you, I feel like you want to, you know, I feel like you want to make the decision that gets you to a place of security, um, a place that, that you feel pretty solid about. Something that manifests itself in, into the physical, not in a materialistic way, but something that's real something that actually can develop into something real okay um let's go ahead and see what your romance angels is uh coming up um coming up for the week what is your relationship showing for the from the romance angels this week okay well it's i'm gonna go with this one trust that's what leo got oh my goodness trust now, the Nine of Cups, it does talk about manifestation and knowing what your heart's desire is, but it's also believing in yourself and believing in your ability to manifest that dream to that makes this card, the wish card, right? Knowing what you want and being content with it and trusting that it will come. So perhaps there's not a lot of trust that it will come. So there's a lot of focusing on what's missing and trying to change everything. And perhaps what you may need to just do is just know that you know what you want and then live in the moment and do the best that you can at the time, in the time that you're doing it. So that could be that too, right? So, yeah. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on with your, with your Wisdom of the Oracle cards this week. There's no judgment here, Virgo. I get that, okay? Oh, wow. Take a nap is what's coming up. Okay. And this is saying here. 
that it's time to, obviously it's time to take a nap it means it's time to rest and then you know be you know just you don't have to do anything right now it's not well there's not a lot of super hard work that's needed to be done it's more of just like give yourself a time and some rest um and allow yourself to enjoy this moment fully if you need to rest if you need to take a break if you honestly just be you know just see where you guys are and just enjoy yourself because where you guys have come so far is amazing that's why i don't feel like this four of cups really because i said in the in the in the beginning of this reading it was like oh maybe there's a, a lot of focusing on the the stuff that's lost the things that are missing no i think there's awareness of what's missing but i feel like there's a shift in focus in this relationship a serious shift in focus that's what i feel like there's a shift in this focus in regards to what's lost to what can be done and i feel like y'all are in the you guys are right now i can sense it you're on you guys are in kind of fix it mode or kind of like let's make something happen with what we've got your eyes are solution based, very solution based, very, not very pessimistic. So you, know, you guys are very positive as far as you know finding solutions. You're realistic, but you can find a solution in everything. And I feel like with this Five of Cups, it's not necessarily that you guys are feeling kind of sorry for yourself, sorry for the relationship, or feeling bad with the relationship. Yes, you know it's lost, but you're looking at exactly what you can do to make this better and i feel like right now the two cups is what you should be focusing on which is the love which is just focus on where you guys are feel feel the connection be in love right now virgo and it's totally acceptable and totally okay because venus is in your sign and she's all about pleasure so enjoy her 